So let's talk about what's going on with the stock and crypto markets, why Ethereum is not really following Bitcoin at all. There's a massive divergence here. We'll give you the three reasons. Actually, I'll give you like four or five reasons. We'll talk about the stock market as well. What's happening with altcoins and meme coins? Why are you seeing a nice little pump up over the last week or so in Dogecoin? Is Shiba you know, going to follow in other meme coins as well? Very exciting video. Again, also, if you're interested in getting my buy alerts and sell alerts or my updates to all of my portfolios in real time when I buy and I sell, and you can see those portfolios, you can all do that via my Patreon. The link is down below in the description or just go to patreon.com and type in invest with Ellen. Don't forget to go on your phone once you're fully signed up and everything and then download that application. It's always cheaper if you use the browser to, to purchase the Patreon membership and not actually through the application on your iPhone or Android because they will actually charge you additional fees. On top of that, if you're interested in just investing long term, you can obviously do the one year membership, which is almost two full months off the membership. And again, if we switch back over here, um, yeah, if you get a, you know, if you're interested in becoming a part owner of our crypto exchange, this is what that phone number will look like when I call you. Again, this is our other web page and our other YouTube channel, Coins of Wall Street. If you want to invest into a crypto exchange, the Patreon is right here, patreon.com forward slash Coins of Wall Street. Again, we have like two more spots available for then. Then we are closed up. We should have enough investors to go from there. And again, let's now talk about Ethereum and the three reasons why it's losing market share. So Ethereum price is not lost ground to Bitcoin alone, but all other altcoins have been uh, basically, uh, you know, kind of just held back on Ethereum's market share over the last three years. So you're not seeing that massive, massive rally in altcoins. There's very few out of like the top 100 that have gone up significantly. Most of them have not. So aside from that, really Bitcoin has been kind of in its own thing. So it really is interesting because remember, Bitcoin is not an altcoin and everything else is. So because it's a storage of value, it's digital gold, because it's the first ETF in the world or cryptocurrencies, and because there's the very first country in the world that's utilizing a crypto as its native currency, those are all massive, massive factors why it's kind of completely separated itself from the rest of the cryptocurrencies. Again, since the last bull cycle in 2021, the peak uh, whale demand for Ethereum has declined by 70%. This is insane. So the people that put in hundreds of millions to billions to trillions of dollars, they're nowhere to be found. It's just crickets and more crickets. So that is, and that's huge. I mean, 70% is insane. With 70% decline and us being in the 26 or 2700 range, this means that retail investors are like you and me are the only ones that have brought this thing up from like the lows of eight, 900 to 2,600 because the bulls, the whales, they're just not interested. And again, that's very, very impressive. Ethereum's foundation sold off nearly 336,000 Ethereum worth eight billion, uh, you know, basically a billion dollars, 906 million over the last four years. That's a joke. This is not a real reason. Them selling 200, you know, 220 million per year or so, you know, over the, you know, per year over the last four years is not a reason at all. They've been putting most of that money right back into improving Ethereum. So this is not a reason. And again, a billion dollars is absolutely nothing. When you think about that, the entire market cap of Ethereum is down by like a trillion dollars, a trillion, 999 billion plus one more billion is a trillion. And if you take out one of those across the entire last four years, and divided by four, they've only taken a quarter of a billion dollars per year to reinvest into themselves. So that is not a legit reason. Again, Ethereum's whale transactions declined by 70%. This is huge. This is absolutely one of the number one reasons out there. And again, if the people that have money are not buying it, it's just not going to follow in the footsteps of Bitcoin. Again, number two, Ethereum's foundation, Vital like Buterin, sold over a billion dollars during the market rallies again this is a joke this is not true this is not a real legit reason the most real legit reason is that right now we have an economy that's not doing well but it's fake you know we've, we've kind of i would say we fake the data to make look to make our economy look great because if you look at the price of homes vehicles groceries electricity gas everything it's still skyrocketing up but we're somehow magically almost down to like inflation you know data where they want it so you know it's, it's it's unbelievable but 
again, there's wars, the tensions in the Middle East, tensions in Ukraine, tensions with China, and everything else, including election tensions. Those are really legit reasons this is not. Now, again, Ethereum's ETF adoption rates 85% slower than Bitcoin. This is a huge, legit reason. I mean, unbelievably, there's like close to zero interest in Ethereum ETFs, which is just very, very shocking. So again, however, after two full months of trading, the adoption rate between Bitcoin ETFs and Ethereum has sparked major concerns. It's 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 almost laughable. So how bad this is, and I think you're going to see a massive reversal. Um, so just looking ahead, remember Ethereum's market cap has fallen about a trillion dollars behind Bitcoin over, uh, you know, the just. I mean, look at this in October 2024, reflecting about a 40 percent decline in Ethereum's market share. So that's really the gist of it. Again, right now, we're, you know, kind of trying to get to 2700 But overall, if you take a look at, you know, just the market cap, you're looking at a 1.330, right? So $1 trillion and then $330 billion to just basically $320 billion. So it's an entire trillion dollars more in terms of market cap. So we could get there, but you're looking at, you know, we need to see a 4X in the price of Ethereum to basically start approaching at the market cap of uh, Bitcoin. Now, we really truly should be, just keep this in mind, we should be slightly above $5,000. So this market cap should be approaching $700 billion, not where we're at right now. So I think you're going to see a massive pump in Ethereum. I just don't know when. Now, again, I remember I did talk about, um, I talked about everybody, about my program, where I entered data from all the websites, including NASDAQ, and we showed a recession uh, October 8th. With that recession, I do believe it's going to be a very, very selective recession. I may not be right on the day by a week or even two or three or even a month, but it's generally going to happen somewhere around here. And I think it's going to very specifically hit companies like the Magnificent 7 that have skyrocketed up hundreds and hundreds of percent while the rest of the S&P 500 has been down for the year. So we're going to see a recession in these overvalued companies while the undervalued ones during the recession is where the money is going to shift into and those are going to actually do very, very well. Now, I personally have gotten pretty much very, very rich during, during all recessions. These are opportunities that I want to take advantage of. If for some reason, Apple crashes to $50. Am I going to buy it hand over fist? Yes, absolutely, positively. Now, again, taking a look over here, this is our webpage and this is our crypto exchange, coinage4.com. Again, if you are interested in becoming a part owner of this crypto exchange, um, just go to Coins of Wall Street, type, go to YouTube, type in Coins of Wall Street. And then over there, again, you can go to the link that says patreon.com forward slash Coins of Wall Street, or just go directly to patreon.com, type in Coins of Wall Street, and you can sign up. I believe there's only like two or three more spots available, and then we are closed up for the investment phase. Again, three science crypto markets are screaming risk on. Again, we just went through all of those, but the major reason is really that, you know, if if we get some kind of bad news from, I would say, Jerome Powell, that will be a one. If we get horrible earnings reports from companies, if these tensions in Ukraine, Middle East, China arise, so there's a, there's a couple of very, very good reasons. Aside from that, I think we are pretty in the clear. Again, the S&P 500's golden decade of return is over, says Goldman Sachs. And again, this is pretty much a joke. You know, the the end of the world, the stock market, everything happened in, what, 2019, 2020? 2020. 2022's crash was also like, oh, we're, we're going to go down 90%. Now the golden decade of returns is over. There's always some nonsense that somebody wants to create, including Markets Insider and Goldman, you know, Goldman over here, because they just want more clicks, more views, more crap. Really just take two seconds out of your life, look at the returns the S&P 500 has given over the last five years, 10 years, 15 years, and you can kind of understand these fear and scare tactics for most investors that, you know, have at least five years in the markets. They know this is just nonsense. So, again, we're in a golden... I would say they were in the Goldilocks zone of AI helping all companies succeed. Businesses are doing great. Technology is expanding exponentially. Um, it, it's, it's pretty funny. But, yep, you'll see articles like this all the time. Don't don't let them scare you. 
Again, Bitcoin is up 131% in the last 12 months, but sentiment is down. Why? Well, here's why. Because they don't want you to buy it. A lot of these institutions are buying a very specific amount of Bitcoin for their clients on a weekly to monthly basis. They don't want some massive sentiment to return where it skyrockets the price to like $180,000 or even higher. What they want you to do is just basically think that you know, you're scared, maybe sell out, decrease the price so they can get it at a better price for their clients. If you don't believe Bitcoin is not going anywhere now, you never will. It's been 14 years. Nobody's going to convince you after 14 years that this was a good investment. You weren't going to be convinced at 80 cents at a dollar when it broke through $11, when it broke through $100. That was monumental. And then when it skyrocketed from 100 to $3,200, you probably still weren't convinced. And right now it's $68,000. You're still not going to be convinced. So either you believe or you don't, which is fine. Again, why Ethereum's price is down today? Well, yeah, there's a little bit of profit taking and Bitcoin's short term slip as well as affecting it. Nothing to be scared of. Again, switching back to stocks for a second here, I am going to continue to buy Google stock for the next two months consistently because I believe this is a $257 stock at the bare minimum. I'm very, very bullish on it. Also, Boeing, you know, if you take a look over the last five years, it's down about 53%. You know, and they've done some shady things. But again, this is an aerospace company. They're very much tied into the United States military. They're not going anywhere. Their dividend is going to return. And, and again, once they basically stop making all their witnesses disappear and they get a new CEO, you may see a massive skyrocketing of these shares way back to about $370, $380 where we were just a few years ago. So that's one you should add to your watch list and currently focus on Google instead but also build up a nice, very, very, I would say, successful watch list so you know what to buy when the opportunity comes. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and smash the like button. Also, make sure you join me on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and then type in Invest with Ellen to join us. And again, there's a great community. You'll get those buying sellers. You'll see my portfolios. Amazing group of people in there. Thank you for watching and take care.